morning, Rand. Have you? Good morning. <laughs> what time is it? Time check? 20 past 7. 20 past 7. Thursday. I don't know what the date is. Uh, maybe the 20th? Yeah. And yeah, on our way to Panama now. Oh, it's 22. 22nd. Oh, 22. Thanks. Thanks, Zaya. <laughs> And we're officially leaving the BBIs. We just picked up the anchor for the last time. We're leaving Road Town here. And we're going to start our six and a half. Steve's optimistic, maybe even six day. I'm saying probably seven day <laughs> sail to Panama. Cool. The BBI has been our favorite part of the Caribbean that we've seen so far. It's sad to leave the BBIs and say goodbye to a lot of awesome people that we've been sailing with and spending a lot of time with, that we crossed with. So it's sad to say goodbye. It is really sad to say it's goodbye. It's the end of a little chapter, end of a little, yeah, sailing spell here, but yeah. Go, go find some new friends and, yeah. and meet up with a few people down in Panama. So it should be. Should be fun, excited for it. Yeah, but and we are excited because we've got a few people heading to Panama with us at the same time. So yep. we've created a little crew. <laughs> um, so when we get down there, we'll all be able to link up again in the sandblast. Oh, it's going to be good. We're excited <laughs> about that. So we're leaving one beautiful place and then going to be heading to another. So it's exciting. We'll keep trying to pepper all the people that said they couldn't come down to Panama. You've still, coming down. you've still got time. <laughs> you've still got time before the season closes. reeling in the other one, the other line. Okay. Ah, girls! Ah, I think we're going to shop! Oh my oh. god, we are! Oh. 
20 meters a line. La what is it, babe? I think I got 10 maybe meters. You look at this. 10 I'm meters a line. I'm the spoil here. That's all that's left. That was full. That was full. Oh, it's heavy though, whatever it is. Oh, look at that bend and that rod. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna get the other line in. It's gone. I don't know how, but it got itself off. So close. We're all sad faces. Oh, it's got most of the line back as well. It's devastating, that thing was huge. Dad, is that mummy? So it is day four from the BBI to Panama passage. And it's been super, super cool. Easy sail, we've had one day of Sort of 15 ish knots, day of 20, a day of 10, and then today was sort of anyway from 10 to 15. But yeah, nice sunsets, got the code out, it's been flying for a day now. The rods are back in the water, try to get another fish because. Ah, oh, spew we lost that one. That thing wasn't huge. It would have been so, so good. Anyway, but yeah, we're just off the coast of Venezuela now. I find that one pretty hard to pronounce. Venezuela, I think that's how you do it. And in, I don't know, two days, two and a half days, we'll be in Panama City. All things going well. And straight to the marina. First marina since... But Turkey, I think. So it's been a long time since we've been into a marina. But yeah, that's what we're doing this time. So look forward to it, it'll be fun. The boat is so salty, it's like dripping wet with salt. Because we had the 20, 25 knots for a couple of days and yeah, the boat just got absolutely coated with waves coming over the side and just dressing everything in a lovely greasy salt bath. So be nice to get a bit of rain to roll shut off or yep marina where you have free water Yoo-hoo! We're doing eight knots, people. Five degrees to port. <laughs> we'll try and slow us down right on sunset. I just feel the hand line here. <laughs> I just gone down to bed. <laughs> Hopefully it's firing. Just running the line again. Yeah. And Flippy, what is it? Is it a fish? Is it a big yellow thin tuna out there? Oh, look at it, fish. Oh, she's a big one. I know, it's not helping that we're doing nine knots against it. <laughs> no. should notice to swim towards us. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it's a crack, crack and sunset. Yep. Commit, Captain. Commit. Not tight enough yet. <laughs> Whoa, look at it leaning. We've got a fish, Zaya. Did you hear the line? Oh, no. Not again. Oh, no. No, I'm it's not. It's going too fast. Oh. It's just like falling out. Damn it. Maybe it will jump back on it. Oh, I'm going to fall on my hook. Sorry, because guess what, Mum? What? The fish is still catching. 
This is, this, I know, um, well, my teacher said um, sometimes when you're sailing you get the lucky chance because this is the night where fish go for, you know, dessert. So, it's been a pretty hectic 24 hours. We've had some pretty big seas. Uh, we're saying they're about two meters at the moment. Um, but because it has some current as well, it's making them pick up, Steve said. So, kind of feels like we've got little tidal waves coming behind us. And then they come down and we kind of race down the waves. Just having all the water come up behind us and then dip back down again as we go down the wave and wait for the next one to jump on and essentially ride it. We're covering some good ground because we're doing good speeds. Um, we've been averaging about eight, I think. And racing down a wave will get up to 12. Um, but we're still quite controlled with the boat, which is good. We're not sort of overpowered too much. We've got three from the main. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. We've got no head sail out. Um, and we've all just been downstairs mostly, coming out here to check the boats and check on the waves and the um, B and G and shark collar, but the dogs and us have all been downstairs. This is what happens and then we kind of go holy shit all sideways and now we're side to the waves and we're spinning back around now. Probably going to drive the sail because it doesn't like that very much. Let's see? Might have recovered okay this time. Um, yeah, so past 24 hours have been like this. I think we've got another 40 hours of this to go and the swell is meant to increase. Luckily the current has gone down a little bit so the waves aren't breaking as much as they were. Um, although that's a pretty intimidating wall of water behind us. The girls have been okay, the boys have been okay, they're all happy now they're downstairs with us. Um, and yeah, we're sort of off the coast of Colombia now. Wow, look at that breaking. Insane. Look at the hat. Wow. Oh, it's probably going to be hard to pick it up on the camera, but it's pretty insane. Uh, I haven't seen waves like this on this boat yet. Um, so it's good to see she's handling it really well. Set coming throughout the back. This whole side's in the water a lot. Side rail over there. Um, like this. don't love these kinds of conditions. I mean, I like the speed that we're going. That's really great and making good ground. But, um, oh, the trade-off of these waves. It's pretty intense. So, it's been hot and on a lot. Um, yeah, we should be there in two days. I think that's the plan. Hopefully the wind will come a bit more they're right behind us at the moment and hopefully they'll come a bit more around on our side so that we can control the better angle. Oh. Um, or something. But yeah, this is this is us. We've just gotta get through it. Get through the waves. Get through the wind. It's been up to like 26, 30 knots. I think last night maybe been 35 not I think Steve said. Um, yeah, so. This is us. It's crazy to believe a couple of days ago we had the code out and it was reasonably flat and the winds were at 10, 10 knots and now we're in this. It's been quite an adventure. Quite an adventurous passage that's for sure.
it's just after lunchtime. I've just changed sides, like tacked over. I'm not too sure if it's show, but you can see the waves rolling away from us. racing along with it. The nighttime shifts. I've been doing the whole night time. I'll get Chelsea up for a couple of hours so I can have a sleep. But yeah, I did the night time. And this is what you can see. The moon's just behind those clouds. Still got about three meters of swell, and it's swell still quite perky because of, uh, we've got two knots of current against the swell. So it's making it stand up a lot. Oh, good speeds. See what the current's doing. There you go, 1.9 knots of current still. Where we going? That was a bigger one. Day 7, 8am in the morning, we left the BVI at 8am in the morning as well, so that's pretty cool. We're just approaching the break wall here, in towards Panama, into Shelters Bay. It's pretty high traffic in this area, you've got to do a lot of radioing in. They do a lot of cargo ships and tankers coming out of here and in. There's the marina in here, which is what we're going to. I saw a tanker earlier on this morning when I was on my watch and it was 366 meters long. Absolutely huge on the water of a night time. It looked like a bit of a cruise ship it was all lit up. Um, so yeah, they've got some, some big big tankers and cargo ships around here. But after this little break walk here, we'll head into the marina and go clear in to Panama. It's a bit of a gloomy, rainy looking start to the day, but hopefully it will pass and these blue skies will come out. But we have made it. It's been a very salty few days. We got no rain when we came here or across the passage, so everything's nice and salty from the high seas and splashing around on the boat. Cannot wait to get everything a hose down when we get there, that's for sure. 
we have arrived. We made it in here. Steve got us in perfectly, like he always does. We were here about five minutes and we met another kitty boat, so the girls are excited. We also just found out there's a pool here at the marina, so we're very happy about that as well. And we're gonna go clearing. I got the pool, look at mom, we don't even have a pool here. I know we don't have a pool on the boat, do we? No, I wish we did have a pool on the boat. It would be pretty cool if we did, but we'll go check it out and go clearing.